today is 3rd of August, Tuesday. We are going to talk about something serious. Assalamualaikum, hello everyone. So, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, I'm Aiza of Bibio Mom. Please subscribe. So, in today's video, I'm going to review this book, The Familiars by Stacey Holtz. Stay tuned. Long story short, Last year, Pensing sent me this book, The Foundling, and I really fall in love with Stacey Hall's writings, and I ordered myself uh, her debut, which is The Familiars from Book Depot. They didn't come in the same size. I'm bothered by it, but it's, it's okay. The Familiars, it sets in Lancashire, Lancashire, 1612. It follows Stitwood Shuttleworth, uh, 17 years old girl or woman i think 17 years old is considered adult at that time that year oh yeah by the way this is a historical fiction so the place actually exists and i found the acknowledgement and then the author's letter she was reading about this history of the house at Gothrope and the shuttleworth family and then there's tell about witchcraft or witches so among those 10 witch that is about to hang there's this girl named alice gray she is somehow found not guilty and she was released there's no actual data or history about this alice girl that's why stacy halls write this book based on that piece of history but about the witch i'm not sure if it's true but it's just like tell from mouth to mouth it begins with fleetwood shuttleworth she had for miscarriage she met this girl named alice she was uh, about her age and she claims herself a midwife very very young for a midwife she claimed herself an experienced lady she learned how to be a midwife from her mother and grandmother fleetwood married richard which is one of the well-known men in the country he rich he really loves her takes care of her when he sees his wife is really sad losing her babies somehow he had another woman and made the woman pregnant at the same time when fleetwood met alice she asked alice to be her midwife and then she agrees eventually they became friends something happened one day alice found a man by the roadside and he was attacked by a witch alice brought this man to the inn she is working they take care of him he was like the witch attacked me the witch grandma came to that place and told them to shut it not to tell anybody what happened he couldn't shut up because he saw everything he was attacked but the witch actually asked for forgiveness why she attacked him maybe it was out of an instinct animal instincts at that time the king asked his men to capture all the witches and hang them or burn them when alice got tangled in the situation when that happened they mentioned alice gray she is really innocent then flatwood's mission is saving her because she doesn't want any other midwives to deliver her baby because in the years alice became her midwife she took a good care of Fleetwood. When she got fever, she knows what to give. I'm not going to tell you the spoilers. You guys have to read it yourself. I really love Stacey Hall's writings. I think the second book is better. It's not a duology, but in terms of writings, she really grown from the first book. Both of these are historical fictions. The story is gripping. It's not that fast paced, but it is. it has a steady face where you can just read it until it's over. So I gave this book four stars. All of her books are really, really pretty. And recently, one of my bookstagram friend ordered me her latest book, which is Mrs. England. You can see right here. I'm really thankful for that. She said it's for my birthday present. My birthday is in August. Like typical historical fiction books. They always have maps in it. Look at that. I would consider the ending as a happy ending. So I don't have to feel depressed <laughs> or anything. It doesn't have any cliffhangers. But I really, really want to know if Alice Gray is a fox. She is definitely not a witch, but she have like super natural vibes going on. Mentioned in the book, she is somehow like a fox. The other thing I love about this book is probably Fleetwood's dog. She has this very big dog named Puck and he saved her life. 
how do you call it family dynamic between a human and a dog i really love her relationship with her dog and with alice she's very kind the character is very very likable i guess that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys do please like this video and smash that subscribe button see you in the next one bye assalamualaikum yeah. uh,